Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up, my guys? All right? Yeah, yeah. Great to see you. Great to see you. Yeah, right. Welcome, welcome to hell. Thanks. Okay, I got a few things um, sorted up. I'm really glad you made time today. That's great. That's very important. Uh, you said you had a little bit of a passion with desserts. Yes. So I'll test your talents. There, your hats. You got hats? Yeah. In the car. All right. I got a present for you guys because I anticipated this. You're going to be doing desserts. One dessert, you're going to be working on some pasta. Have you done pasta before? No, I haven't. Great, so come on down this way. First thing, guys, that's there for you. A gift from me for all the hard work I expect from you guys. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you up on the pasta station. It's kind of, um, it, it, it's relatively simple once you get the hang of it. And what I've done is I've created a special tonight, which is quite unusual. Yeah. Because you're working tonight, you're working tomorrow night. Yeah. That's going to be kind of a weekly thing. So every day you're working, I'm going to come up with something different. You're going to do all the work, and I hope you'll get the praise. Right, uh, this is my second year doing the Place of Passion. And um, last year it was, it was really interesting, it was new. Uh, nobody knew what they were getting into. Um, and it was very important that, you know, the students really participated. I think that was very important throughout all the chefs who were participating, and equally so this year. Um, I've got two this year. We only had one last year. Um, so I'm kind of going to push it a little bit, I think. Um, whether that's a wise move or not, I don't know. It depends on these guys if they can kind of step up to the plate. If you want, you can, you can use for the big pan and the nice side and you can I always do this individually. Make sure this pastry has to be not putty, not putty. Yeah. If you make uh, all laminate, you're gonna use this one. Even if you make very thin, no problem. It's gonna eclipse. Okay. This way. Nice buttery flavor. Yeah. So mix here. My name is Jenny. Um, I'm a first year culinary student at Bermuda College. I have a passion for baking, um, but also want to learn more about all aspects of the kitchen and chefing. And um, pretty much my goal is to learn at least one new thing a day. So um, right now today they got me working on the apple pie, which is kind of my favorite. <laughs> so I'm in my element here doing pastries today. Okay, the pasta we're going to be doing tonight is a pappadelli. Okay, it's just, there's a few different variations of it, but basically the one I'm going to do is going to be thick and short, and the special is going to be actually an oxtail ragu with parmesan cheese. The fresh pasta here we obviously made. And what I need you to do is we start on number one, and you slowly push it through. Just massaging it with your fingers, get it through there. And we progressively go up until it's number six. Okay? This is exciting. I haven't did it before, but it's quite interesting how we actually get pasta made once it's actually done. Nothing like a hands-on experience. Some of the key points are uh, make sure it's always floured, make sure it's in the center of the pasta machine, and um, um, speed, because since they make the um, pasta fresh, you have to make sure it's, it's the pants you have been done so quickly to get, you know, whole service. Yeah, my name is Jelani Smith. Um, the reason I got into culinary is because I really enjoy cooking. Uh, I just love the atmosphere of the kitchen, it's very fun. Always something new that happens in the kitchen that brings a different vibe. Like, you know, it's just exciting. You learn to work with different things every day. It's just a different experience. It's always fun to make the different you know, nationalities in the kitchen, the different cultural experience. It's really enjoyable, and I hope to pick up a lot from them, uh, their coaches, and what they use, spices and stuff. Just make myself all around culinary. All right. Let me show you what you're doing. Stand over here for a second. Okay, here we've got the pasta now, right? You don't have to be fragile. What we want to do is I want to take the tails off. 
right? Just like that. Now, when I said it was a, a thick pulp of deli, it has to be uniformed, okay? I have to get my size. So basically, I want strands like this, I would say, right? They don't have to be perfectly even. But you can see, they're all approximately the same way. Jelani, um, he was great. He was doing the pasta today. Uh, something he hadn't done. It was kind of out of his comfort zone a little. Um, we spoke about the dish. He's coming in tonight. We're going to create a special around what he's done. Um, that's going to be good because he's going to see the beginning of a product and then he's going to see it going out of the kitchen. And I think that's a, a driving force for a lot of chefs. You, you, you bring in a lot of product and it's easy to get it in. What do you do with it? How do you create it? And these young students kind of, they're, they're young and they're students. So that's what you really want to kind of get in their head. Now we roll them up like so. And what we do... Okay. And then we just cut them thick. Thick like that, thick like that, thick like that into fours, okay? I'm going to let you do that. And this is the actual going to be the pasta, okay? Thick pieces, okay? So you finish those off. And uh, I'm just going to go over here to Jen. J2. How's J2 doing? Oh my God, you're not finished yet? <laughs> Listen, good. All right, okay, so you got the hang of it. You're pushing it down, making sure. Remember, flour, pastry, a little dust. It's easy to work, but push, push it down. Just like a little so, yeah? Just like, just pat it down. Nice and easy. Boom, you're ready. Awesome.